Hey, I'm Mary Elizabeth, the surviving ed blogger here at Healthy Place. And today I want to discuss why I think it's vital to prioritize your own commitment to eating disorder recovery before you take on the responsibility of investing in someone else's journey to heal. I have three reasons for this. Number one, if you become too emotionally involved in another person's recovery without drawing boundaries to protect your time, energy, and self-care, then you can risk placing your own commitment to heal on the back burner. Number two, if you start to feel as though you are more concerned with the other person's well-being than they are, the relationship can become too dependent or you could take on the role of an enabler who tries to bail them out of unhealthy choices rather than allowing them to learn and grow from the consequences. And number three, if you are not absolutely clear on what you need to be doing first and foremost in your own life to recover, the other person's disordered eating behaviors could start to rub off on you or trigger a potential relapse. This is why it's crucial to take ownership of your eating disorder recovery above all else. Helping others is admirable, but it must be done in a responsible, mutually beneficial way.